from the kickstartcommerce.com. In today's tutorial, I'd like to share with you how to install the WP Sticky plugin into your WordPress uh, website. So if you take a look here at the side of my right uh, at the uh, sidebar for my website as I'm scrolling down the sidebar it does begin to move and scroll but then at some point we run out of content or we get to the very end of the sidebar but we still have content on the left hand side so as I scroll now you notice this uh, sidebar here is basically sticky so it's captured there now so it's not just moving so as I'm scrolling through content it remains uh, static and once it gets to the bottom it remains static there I start scrolling back up once I reach the top of that scroll bar now you can see it now it remains sticky until I get back to the very top of the website in which once I get back to the top here you'll see it will uh, set itself to be static in its original spot just like it did there so I'm running a local hosted version of WordPress I'm gonna show you how to do that here just in this local host so go ahead and log into your admin area let's go to plugin let's add new and again the plugins name is called WP sticky I believe sticky bar and there it is WP sticky sidebar and so we will install and once we install it we're just gonna click activate and then once we activate it it takes us to this these settings and you can decide whether it's sticky for uh, your desktop or mobile devices actually have to upgrade for that feature you can also specify additional um, element classes so that you can do your own um, styling you can also add additional margin space or disable for certain uh, screen sizes and so forth you can also add your custom CSS there and disable on the different types of pages although you have to upgrade to be able to gain access to that nevertheless it's pretty easy to install you save it and so now if we were to go to the blog here where I have a lot of pages listed you'll notice here there's the sidebar and what we're gonna do we're gonna scroll and when we reach now we reach the bottom of the sidebar now watch what happens it is static now and so you may be wondering well what's the point of having that there a lot of times uh, most people don't necessarily have as much um, information as I have here uh, but in the, in the event that you do you know let's say you have a search bar or let's say you have browse by topic um, let's say you have a newsletter sign up which shameless plug go ahead and sign up so you can receive these uh, tutorial alerts um, let's say you have a trending topics widget and you're showing you know your top three or top five trending uh, pieces of content or you have a YouTube uh, subscription I mean you get the point that your sidebar can be full with many different things as well as you know you could add ads in there um, but nevertheless you want to be able you want that sidebar to remain static as a person is scrolling in hopes of gaining their attention um, to getting them to click either on an ad or getting them to interact with the sidebar some way so the WP sticky uh, bar plugin is sidebar plugin is one of the uh, one of my favorite plugins to go to when I have customers that want to have a sticky sidebar so that being said that's it for this tutorial uh, if you have questions or comments about it please leave them below uh, the video also again visit kickstartcommerce.com um, and sign up for our newsletter where I share search marketing WordPress tips and tricks and just the digital strategies for how to grow your business um, your customer base and your revenue and so with that that's it and that's all for now